everyone and welcome back to click draw and welcome back to shard light it has been a long time i i have not played for a while so forgive me if i have forgotten some things um but we are where we last left off which is in front of the crazy cult church they look strong i don't know why we're here to be honest? I don't think carrying around a severed marble head will help much. It would just weigh me down. Um, as I recall, we are looking for food for that dude, old dude sheep. And we've got a gas mask, but we need a working filter. Uh, for that guy's daughter. Now they're saying we- Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? Now they're saying we didn't do last time. I think you should know that I've got the perfect life. And you could have the perfect death if you embrace the Reaper. I'll just be going. Farewell. Alright. I can't remember if I did that or not. Is there anything else to click on here? The statue has been heavily damaged. It's practically unrecognizable. It's creepy how you can't see the face underneath the hood. Someone once told me that this is the patron saint of sudden death. How fitting. Hmm. All right, let's go back to our map and see what else is on here. So this is the cathedral. That's the farm. Market district. Amy's home. Okay, so let's see if there's anything useful here. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him- Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. I'll see you kids- Bye, Amy. Let's see if there's anything in useful in here. Do I still have the bucket or do we use that? We still have it, okay. The old family comp- Is there anything around here that might have a filter in it? Well, I like looking at various mechanical- A bunch of my old projects. Most of them are broken, but they have sentimental value. The hubcap from the first car I ever worked on. Sweet. I honestly have no idea what to do. I really don't. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. Creepy, creepy children's songs. Well, we got some stuff, so let's just talk to the guys and see if we get any new clues. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? What was it you said you'd trade for the pistol? Anything of similar value. Those aristocrats have some pretty nice stuff. But you know I'm not terribly fussy. Anything you think I might like. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Would you take a bucket? I don't think he'd be interested in that. Plank. I don't think I can... Oh. My cast iron. My cast iron bucket. It's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. Oh, heat resistant. Okay, we'll take it to that fireplace, boiler room, glassworks. I don't know what it's called. The factory thing. My trusty crossbow. I've got one bolt. Gordon, I know you said you wanted a gas mask. I've got this one, but the filter is empty. Would you at least be willing to trade the pistol for it? Yes, this is good. If I can get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Take the pistol. But if you find any filters... You'll get your filter, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Sweet. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. 
And now we have a pistol. The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Ooh. Attention citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lock, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. It's in no condition Doing to be so operated. We'll save lives. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. See you later, Gus. You bet. Alright, so let's head over to the well and look up some books. Need a book on filters. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? Um... Science? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Filtration systems, of course. That dude must be psychic. <laughs> Alright. Several methods of filtration can be used. Oh, is it going to tell us about charcoal? Let's see here. Uh, be it for liquids or gases, however, a very useful material found in most filtration systems is activated carbon. Activated carbon has many uses, such as gas purification, decaffeinated, filtering gas masks, ease of production, carbon. Activated carbon is produced from coconut husk, peat, wood. Oh, we have some wood. Night and coal, it can be produced from physical or chemical. <laughs> and that's not what I meant to do. Hi, Nels. Good to. I think. Of course. I want to. One. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Uh, let's see. The source material is developed into active carbons by using hot gases such as steam or oxygen. It must be heated at extremely high temperatures in the range of 60, uh, sorry, 600 to 900 degrees. Uh, coal or wood, impregnated with acid, a strong base, or a salt. The raw material is then carbonized at a lower temperature, somewhere in the range of that. Hmm. Here's the per method. The raw material is impregnated with acid, a strong base, or a salt. I wonder if anyone would have salt. Oh, next page. Oh, that was it. Alright. I'm gonna see about getting some water. I can't see any reason to lug around. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Attention citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced... Feels like only half the stock is rot. Hello, Marish. Amy! Would you happen to know where I could find some salt? No, but Gus might. I think he uses it for his meats. Oh yeah, that would make more sense. I have to go. Okay. Gus. Gus. Need salt. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No. I'm looking for salt. Like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile and you'll find it. Thanks. Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet. Alright, perfect. So, I believe we now leave. And we should have a new location to go to now. Salt Flats. I remember this place from the trailer. I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. 
Am I hearing things, or is that music? No, you're correct. That is music. It's locked. How odd. It's way beyond any sort of help now. Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. And now we have some salt. Looks as though someone has been excavating for salt here. Probably Gus. Logo. Hmm. It's like an S and a couple of T's. Looks like this train has been here a long time. I wonder when the last time it actually ran was. Hmm. It's a long hike back into the city. I guess we'll be coming back here another time. And I want to go to... Central X Factory. Time to get some carbon. Just had to come back, huh? Eh, I keep you around for some things. <laughs> I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. <laughs> wow, he really is a teenager. All right, let's get the fire going. Nothing happened. Well, yeah, the gas isn't on. Oh, right. My trust, I've got one. There's nothing down. I'd. How would I turn on the gas? Sketch, drawings, hard work. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh. I'm guessing this valve must. Alright, let's... The pistol is... should be... Let's try this, shall we? Now we're cooking. Haha! -ha. What? You're actually gonna cook? <laughs> no, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that <laughs> lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that! <laughs> Alright, so we got this. The pistol oh, should be... Ha. Not a bad idea, but I should put the wood in some kind of container first. This plank of... This plank. Huh. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Salt is. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. Salt is useful for preserving meat, but it can also have some more creative applications. I'm not putting this inside while it's lit. Ah. I've got a piece of... I've got a piece of wood in my bucket. Salt is... I've already prepped the wood for carbonization. So then what do we do next? Uh, do we turn this off? I've got a piece... What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. That's cool then. <laughs> Alright, so now we turn it on. Okay. The pistol should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. I keep I keep right clicking when I should left click. <laughs> Alright, let's see. If you can hear noises upstairs, it's because people have entered the house. I'm not about to go sticking my hand- I'll give you my pumpkin if you do. Fat chance. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, really makes this place feel homey. Alright, so now I just turn it off? Is that it? Nothing going on in there right now. So, did your experiment work? 
Don't be so nosy, Denby. Nice. The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Nice. We have it now. All right, let's go. Let's get... Don't get into any trouble, Denby. Hey, I'm not the one going around setting stuff on fire. Let's see here. Uh, sorry, just had to pause for a second. All right, so let's get out of here and get this carbon back to the dude for his daughter. Gordon. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I, I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. Thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. No. Um... Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Oh my gosh. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come <laughs> back anytime. Well, I guess we're done with uh, Gordon's thing. Uh, wait, I didn't mean to go there. Eh, I guess we could talk to him, see if there's any new stuff. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? Interesting company. You so, you're working for them now, are you? It seems that way. We have been hard-pressed to find new recruits. You're a welcome sight. People are scared. Between the plague and rumors of the Reaper going around, nobody wants to get their hands too dirty if they could help it. Well, except for me. I guess it's easier to be consistently miserable than to take a tough road to happiness. You're starting to sound like Danton now. Be careful where you say that. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, maybe. So I'm pretty sure the dude... The farmer dude wants food for his sheep. Even though it's been a... Maybe I could get some from Maria? Uh, Marichka. Not Maria. Marichka. Hello, Marichka. Amy! Hello! Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long, weeds have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no. It's okay. No, take the One pumpkin. these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you say things like that. Relax. It's okay. I'm not dead yet. Uh -huh. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast, very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruined my vegetables. Luckily, I finally got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Blue flowers? Now that you mention it, I think I've seen those someplace. Thanks, Marishka. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Blue flowers. Was that at the farm? 
I'm gonna read more books. Alright, I'm just gonna pop a save right here. I think we've hit the 10 or 15 minute mark. Looking for weeds. Alright. So that is it for two. A reminder to all ah. citizens that next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held tomorrow at sundown. Great. Okay. See you guys. Bye bye.